life. <laughs> okay, so today what we're gonna do, because we don't wanna get into cutting everything, uh, we're just gonna turn this into into this not too bad not great but not bad thanks and then some uh meat should be good and yeah so that's it so you guys will see the process now All right, Jamie just got back from a uh, run. Look at her. The alpha female approaches her den after a long exercise, training to get her next meal. She comes in, pretending to not pay attention. Look at how she navigates the land. She almost got hung up in the puddle. She survived. Look at an explosive anger. So how was it? How was Good. it? Good. I saw deer. Where? Uh, you know the neighbor's laneway down there? Yeah. I was like running by and I was like, oh, holy shit. And it was just trotting down the, the, the line. Road? Really? You should have yeah. chased it. Well, I got a video. Do the trotting again. One more time. Is that a deer trot? Yeah. <laughs> in and then the little adjustable things that we have we're gonna cement them up these deck blocks are a little crappier because they only have about an inch so we have to kind of build a weird footing or just kind of I don't know batter it we'll call it batter it. Um, and then where we are you're not allowed to build a deck over a hundred square feet so how we design this deck is it's 99.7 square feet so it's basically gonna be like a fat L and then the stairs are going to be by the solar panels. The reason I put the stairs there is because I don't want anybody to sit by the solar panels and block the sun during the day. We have really fat people over here. So anyway, so that's the plan. Uh, so I'll time lapse you guys and you can see me struggle for the next six to seven hours. All right, so I'll show you guys what we're dealing with. So I just dug this hole as you saw, and as you can see, it's all flat rock. So we lucked out huge. It just so happens there's a shelf of rock that this is supported on. That's what we were talking about last year. It's a shelf of rock that comes down, so the deck box is gonna sneak in there, and then yeah, it'll allow us to keep our deck nice and low. Um, and then if you can see right here, Sorry, I just plugged it, but this thing right here, it's a nice little drainage hole. So as you can tell, that one has drainage and that doesn't. So yeah, so there's four done and yeah, we'll say two more to go because there's a rock ledge there that I'm probably just gonna go off of and build a form. So anyways, back to it. So you guys are probably wondering 
why I put this one so far this way and then why I put that one so far that way. This one, it's because this is where the stairs are gonna be, so the most traffic's gonna come up here, so I want support, and obviously I need support between this because it's 12 feet, 10 feet of spacing, so it's a little offset. And this one over here, there's a really good explanation for this. There's a huge rock, so I'm not going through rock. So, but this is why you get these adjusters. See how low that is? I don't know if you guys, sorry, I gotta turn you sideways. Just tilt your head sideways when you're looking at your screen. So yeah, see that? And then up there, this is dropped way down. So I think these just are the same as the, the camp ones. So I think they adjust six inches. I'm making that up. So just pretend like that's what they adjust. Okay, cool. Uh, now, I don't know how much I'm gonna time lapse because this is just adjusting and 90% of it's super embarrassing. There you have it, folks. There's this endless mushiness here. Oh, he's freezing. Yeah. Here. <laughs> well, Memphis, you're going back inside then. Sorry, buddy. I thought he would be not, I don't know. Have you ripped your animal time yet, right? You cold buds? Alright. Like two more loads there. Like we're trying to. He's freezing. You're freezing, buddy. Okay, come on. Let's go back inside. Come on, go back inside. You're freezing. Get back in. Memphis, get inside. No, he doesn't. He's too cold. Memphis, go. Well, as soon as I have like 10 minutes that I can throw a ball for him, I'll bring him out and then he'll be friggin'. Oh my God, he's so cute. Please let me out. Hey. I don't like how smooth this is. See what I mean? Well, yeah, it's full of water. And mud. <laughs> Are you just putting those down right now or what? No, this is gonna be where our landing is. But I wanna build the landing so I know what to do with the stairs. What do you think? Is it level? Yeah, like it needs to harden up, I guess. I don't know. But like once those are down, it won't matter. Because they're so wide.
Bueno. Well, sorry, babe. Well, it's fine. Okay. Slide this in. Super tight towards this. That, and then pass me the grate. Oh, wait. Should I smash our uh, solar panels? Do you imagine? So, here's how we're gonna do it. Do you wanna test fit it first to make sure that those things are in the right spot before we start cutting other shit? Yeah, just wanna make sure. I just wanna see what I'm dealing with here. Drawing that line is because this grate's actually bent in. So. Cool. And then that should just fit in there. doing milling today we did some milling yesterday we've never done it before so we didn't film it because we don't want to just film amateur hour so we're hopefully gonna show you guys a bit of filming today we are or sorry milling today we're milling on site which is through our trails it's a beautiful day It's really hot, actually.
probably a better job than you did last time. Yeah. Where are you putting these? Oh yeah, I'll just casually flip this. <laughs> oh, this is the heaviest piece of lumber I've ever laid my hands on. All right, so we milled for the day and it was exhausting. So we may or may not be buying a mill, like an actual mill. So that's good. Um, in the meantime, I bought some onion, well, not actual onions. I bought some seed onions, um, some seed, green onions, some seed potatoes, and strawberry seeds as well. So we're going to try and plant those. Hey, buddy. It's hot out, eh? Yeah, it stopped. That's gross. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I got onions because they are supposedly deer and bunny and stuff resistant. Um, so when we're not here, they're not all going to get eaten up. And... I bought strawberries because I love them. I imagine they're going to be devoured by the deer, but it is what it is. And potatoes, oh, everybody loves potatoes. So. Yeah, so here we go. So to plant my stuff, um, I'm going to use a bucket method for planting my potatoes, which is basically, well, what I read online is, um, if you leave a potato out for too long, I'm sure you know what happens. It gets those long, I think they're called stolons. It looks like long like eyes or whatever. Or long, well, they're called stolons. They're like long, I guess, branches coming off the potato. Supposedly, when you plant that, the potatoes, new potatoes grow along that stolon. So the longer you can get the stolen, the more potatoes you get off of, um, off of the plant. So I will be using these logs that have giant gaping holes in them. And I'm going to use those as a bucket. You can actually use a five gallon pail, but I'm going to, I'm going to use these because then I don't have to buy five gallon pails and drill holes in the bottom. So Let's hope it works. Um, like this, that's enough now. So yeah, hopefully, I don't know, we'll see. Slight change of plans. My hollowed out rotten logs look like they have some, some type of mold in them, which apparently potatoes are very finicky when it comes to stuff like that. So, I'm just going to basically tear all this up and just kind of mulch it a bit, throw the, all the seeds in there and see what happens. So we'll see. I picked a good spot. Well, <laughs> I would say probably anywhere on this property would be a good spot for planting a garden. But we have lots of, uh, I mean, besides the roots and the rocks, there's a lot of rocks that you probably already saw me throw. Um, there are so many earthworms, like, here's an earthworm. Oh, I'm sure I cut a hundred of them in half already. Um, there's a lot of rotting, a lot of rotting wood. It's like 
literally just splitting apart. I'm thinking it's going to be a pretty good nutritious spot. Um, it is a little bit of a pain in the butt with all the rocks in it. Um, but I'm just going to, what I'm going to do now is kind of go over, break all this stuff up. And I'm going to uh, dig my trenches for my seeds. And yeah, we'll just see how that goes. Look at that one, how big that one is. It's huge. So, that's a pretty good sign. Um, yeah, a lot of rotten stuff in here. Like, it's so many earthworms. But I'm gonna, yeah, as I said before, kind of dr drench, drench, <coughs> trench everything, trench the little things that I need for my potatoes and my onions. Pull out all these roots if I can, and we'll see where that gets us. Morning guys. Nate is still sleeping. I came out here early. Well, it's not that early. It's almost 10, but um, just to show you guys a little bit of my garden. So what we have here on the left is some potatoes and my onion garden just got absolutely decimated. So yeah, I think there's like, you know, an onion there. And another one over there, so it's pretty much sad. But what I'm gonna do right now is dig up these potatoes because something happened to the tops. I don't know if it was eaten by something, but anyways, I'm gonna pull them up um, because they're just gonna rot if they don't have any nutrients or sunlight going to them from the top. These ones seem to be doing all right put some banana peels in here just as a Hail Mary for some nutrition but we'll see so yeah I'll be digging up <laughs> that one right there all right unfortunately what seems to have happened is my potato rotted out um let's see if I can find it now that is part of it Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. I just kind of stabbed it and, oh, here it is. Here's the potato. Here's the one that I planted right there. Um, yeah, it's like 100% rotted out, unfortunately. So. Yeah, right here. Where the hell's my thing here? Yeah. So, yeah. Um. I checked to find any tubers coming off from it to see if there's any like small little potatoes that might have uh, grown, but it doesn't look like that happened. So unfortunately, no potatoes there. So 
clearly something happened and, you know, didn't grow very well. Um, I don't know what. I've never grown potatoes before, but I do know that they are finicky. So I imagine that's, you know, probably just something in the soil. Um, but I did plant, so I planted these in, I think it was May. Um, you guys watched me plant them, but, uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get some potatoes out of the rest of these. We'll see. I don't know. It's kind of pretty disheartening, but whatever. You ready, Randy? I'm ready. Randy Bovandi in action. Need some greasy cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> How big is this log? It's only uh, with bark 11, without 10 and a half. So we're doing... Small end. No, what are we doing with it? Two what by fours? We doing with it? We're just going to do 14,000 toothpicks. We're doing toothpicks and then the rest, all the scraps, we're going to make into those weird hexagonal shitty Home Depot pencils. Yeah. Well, this is Mastercraft, so it's even worse. Yeah. Oh, and it doesn't even scratch my back. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, we're going to do two by fours. No, board and bat. I don't know. We're just going to wing it. See what happens. 